We are on the far edge of Black Beacon Sound, famous for the ferocious and well-documented storm which will strike from the east on the 5th of September. In three days' time. Wes Anderson's work feels more like a treat than most movies. Throughout all of Anderson's movies, you have a sense of continuum, a sense of, I've seen this before, but not in a bad way. There are several trademarks that distinguish Anderson's work, which most of it perfectly intertwines in a way to say, story meets style. By using these styles in his movies, he's not only shooting something, he is saying something in a loud but subtle way. Anderson uses a lot of panning shots. These are all very cleverly made and works well with an audience to give us a layout or a better sense of our surroundings. Panning shots such as the one here demonstrate how nicely it is to comprehend and visualize what we are looking at as a whole. Instead of Anderson deciding to get a shot of the entire boat externally, here he does it internally, letting us see exactly what it is and what is inside of it as well. Whip pans are shown for us to establish a subtle transition between two people and or differences of dialogue. Sledding, mountain climbing. Brandon, what's going on? I don't know. I guess the train's lost. What do you say? It says the train's lost. How can a train be lost? It's on rail. One of Anderson's biggest trademarks are his well-placed slow motion scenes. These are not only fun to watch, but I think that every slow motion shot Anderson makes means a lot. Like. Every slow motion sequence we get in an Anderson movie is almost the underlying message in a way. This slows down time and makes us focus on the individuals on screen. I think his technique by using these slow motion shots are to primarily create a lasting impression, which ultimately suffices. Perhaps one of Anderson's biggest trademarks is that he has a reoccurring cast, and all of his movies are symmetrical. Every introduction of a character has them perfectly in the center of the frame with their name below them. Symmetry is important in film because angles means a lot. Typically, our point of view is flat or straight on. As shown in all of his movies, mostly every frame adds up to be a perfectly arranged shot, symmetric in every way. This is a very powerful technique that makes us focus on the center of the screen that are one shot as opposed to several cuts and is not only complimentary to the cinematographer, but the characters themselves. The cuss am I? Are you cussing with me? No, you cussing with me? Don't cuss and point. You're gonna cuss with somebody. You're not gonna cuss with me, you little cuss. Me. You. Just by the trees. 